when Katy Perry came to Dos Pueblos High School on September 14, 2010, it was a day that the students will never forget. She performed a short set of her most popular songs in the Greek theater with thousands of students and contest winners crowding the stage and singing along at the top of their lungs. But when the concert was over, the day hadn't ended for a group of Dos Pueblos journalism students. We got the chance to talk to Katie about her high school and how it has affected her career. Hey everyone, I'm Christina Blair from DP News and I'm here with the one and only Katie Perry. How you doing, Katie? Hello everyone at DP. <laughs> um, were you more nervous to perform here than somewhere else? seeing as you're kind of representing Santa Barbara in our school? Um, I wasn't nervous per se. I was just, I was actually more happy performing here than I had been. I'm so happy performing in general, but like there was an extra like um, feeling. Just, it, it's so happy. I'm so happy to be in Santa Barbara. Whenever I come, I come and visit all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm always like taking a day here, taking a day there. And I came and recorded some of the record here in Santa Barbara. Are any of your songs inspired by Santa Barbara or your yes. experience at DP? Yes, California Girls is inspired by Santa Barbara. I was actually trying to write a song that had Santa Barbara as like in the course. Mm -hmm. In the course, um, I made it California Girls instead of Santa Barbara Girls because there's a few select of us only. <laughs> we like to keep it that way. Don't come into our turf. I'm just um, but California girls, there's something about California girls I think that um, definitely makes uh, people smile more and guys' head spin, of course. And then I wrote Teenage Dream here in Santa Barbara um, when I was recording the new record. And I wrote Last Friday Night here when I was recording the new record. Thanks for watching, DP, and keep repping Katy Perry.